Hey everybody. So I just wanted to make a quick video today um, and send you a little message. I know a lot of people um, get caught up on the fact that, you know, we have um, potentials and then they, um, you know, they, they don't follow through or it's not their timing. You guys be grateful for that. Instead of, you know, being like, oh, I had five potentials and none of them fell through, um, you need to be excited about that because it means that they weren't ready and you don't want them on your team when they're not ready. This isn't about what you can see for somebody else, but it's about what they can see within themselves. And so sometimes we have to um, literally see something in them and let them, like, invite them on this journey and let them see that for themselves. So trust in timing. Um, a lot of most of my potentials I've worked with for a year, two years. Um, sometimes it is just a couple of days, but you have to understand that this isn't just going to, you can't talk to five people and five people are going to come with you, okay? So if you need like, you know, let's say your goal is um, to go Ruby and you need five distributors, you need to run a list of 500 people. Now, when I say that, that can either super discourage you or it can absolutely drive you. So ask yourself, like if I need five people and I want to go Ruby, am I going to be willing to talk to 500 people? Yes or no? Now, that's not to say that you might only talk to 15 and five will sign up. That could happen. But what I'm telling you is from experience, if you aren't willing to run the numbers, you aren't going to be willing to, to get the payout. So, you know, for, for me, something that I do that just allows me to not get discouraged, at least all more than when I first started, is that I don't have expectations. Okay, so I don't talk to somebody and think, oh my gosh, they're going to sign up tomorrow. No. I give everybody the same equal opportunity. I treat everybody the same and everyone's a potential until they're signed up and on my team page. Okay. So don't invest more into somebody than the other person because you think they're going to be good or you think that, you know, they're going to be the rock star. That's not your choice to decide. So take the emotion out of things when it comes to how much you want this. Make it about what they want. So what can this business do for them? Um, what can, you know, a $500 paycheck do for some, for, for them, you know, and so enroll them in that vision of what you see and what you know is possible. Here's the other thing. If you miss a goal, you have to trust in timing. So, you know, let's say my first goal was, or my big, big, big first goal was to be ambassador by my year mark. I missed it. So do I quit and do I give up? No, you don't. You keep going and you just adjust, you know, adjust the things that you're doing every single day to get that, to get that goal. So, um, you know, some of us are, get really discouraged when we don't even meet, um, you know, we set a goal to be Ruby in, in two months or we set a goal to be um, Emerald in three months or, you know, maybe you've been at Ruby for eight months and you're ready to go to Diamond. Whatever the case may be, I will tell you guys this. He has a bigger plan for you than you do. So stop trying to control things. The third thing is, is that if you're not going to that next level, whatever that may be, it's probably because you're not doing the personal growth within yourself to be ready for that. So for me, I was, I was triple for a year. I wasn't ready for presidential. That's why, even though I worked so hard that whole entire year, I was like doing 10 times the amount of work I had done when I was diamond and double. It wasn't enough because me personally... I wasn't ready for what that, what that, um, you know, what that brought. So ask yourself, am I mentally, emotionally, physically, um, am I using the products? Am I doing what a triple diamond would do? Am I doing what, you know, even a Ruby would do? Um, and so if you're not start scheduling that stuff into your day, don't just go by your day and hope that things fit in. You know, if, if you are taking time for granted, Time's going to take, you know, you for granted. So allow yourself to schedule in things and make room for it as if it already is. So this is going to sound stupid, but this is something that I did because I believe in the law of attraction. So when I started um, enrolling a lot of people, because that's what I told myself I was going to do, um, I started scheduling in on Tuesdays from noon to one, I was going to lunch with a new distributor. I didn't know who that person was. But I was putting it in my time to allow that for the universe to respond back to me and say, here it is, okay? But if you're completely packed, you're so full, you're busy, 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 why would you think that you're going to get, you know, the universe, Lord, whatever you want to choose to call him, 
is going to give you that opportunity to train somebody when you don't even have the time for it in your life right now, okay? So, and then the third thing is, is gratitude. You have to be grateful for what you do have. So I know there's so many people who, you know, again, have been in the business a long time, but don't look at where you were last year, how many goals, or, you know, last month, or how many goals you've missed. Look at where you were two years ago. Look at where you were six years ago, 10 years ago, and be grateful for what you have now today. And then you're going to get more to be grateful for. But if all you're doing is complaining and whining about what you don't have and how many things you missed and who's not coming with you and who hated you and who made an e-card about you or whatever the case may be, you're going to get more of that in your space. So consciously make that effort every single day to shift and go into a place of gratitude. Um, Something that's really helped me is before bed, just thinking of 10 things I'm grateful for. Even when I'm so upset or irritated or frustrated, when you can think of things to be grateful for, you're going to find more things to be grateful for, in which return will get you to your goals. So hopefully this um, will hit you guys today and just understand that gratitude is the key to abundance.